New study tried to find if there was any link between air pollution and autism spectrum disorder, and you're not going to believe what they found. So the researchers looked at 2.1 million babies in Canada and looked at what was the air pollution levels in their area, as well as tracking them during their pregnancy and the first five years of life. And here's what they found. Researchers found that higher prenatal exposure to things like ammonium and sulfate, especially in the second and third trimester, had higher rates of autism spectrum disorder compared to the other groups. They looked at specific areas that were still high but common levels of air pollution. They found that the rates actually increased by about 12 to 15 percent. They also noted that being exposed to things like ozone, a different type of air pollutant, also made it more likely to develop autism spectrum disorder, but only in the third trimester in early development, and the results were not as strong compared to the others. The ultimate takeaway that they had from this is that certain pollutants were worse than others, and the timing mattered just as much as anything else. If you want to see more videos like this and get the latest in medical and healthcare news, you can find the link in my bio to my Substack, where you will get a daily update with links to all of the articles and studies and a more in-depth analysis that you can treat like your daily cup of coffee. I will see you tomorrow for the rest of the news, and you can find everything else in the link in the bio.